Here, what are you doing in the woods stroking? What are you stroking in the camera? It does not look like you're stroking what you actually are stroking. Shall I come out? How complicated is that? You make me look really weird. I'm fondling a Suzuki V-Strum 800DE. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, that's what it says on the front anyway. Yeah. I can't see that. It says it on the tin. It says it on the tin. Look at that. Proper Suzuki big exhaust that is, isn't it? You're quite excited about this one, weren't you? Um, I like V-Strums. I do like V-Strums. And uh, this has come out at the same time as the Honda Transalp. And do you know, this reminds me of my 850 GSA. I had really? a stupid grin when I got off it. Wow. Same sort, it's a twin, so you've got to rev it a bit, which is something I learned they had to do on the uh, yeah. on my on my GSA. V strums are just loved by they have a massive following, they're loved by everybody. Yeah. They're always so reliable. They're just fantastic bikes. And this one lives up to its uh, up to its predecessors i'm sure i don't like the color scheme i think it's garbage well i don't know i think the gold and the blue and the black work together but it's just not to your taste you know do you want something white you know I a bit of white or a quite lighter bold color. with our colors you know like the yellow well i don't like the yellow i think that's too bold what about red red would be fantastic mm. or purple <laughs> but i just think we're like Ugh, you know Ugh, black again anyway Look at this cracking little bike. Yeah. Bench seat, very, very comfortable seat. As you say, what's the cupping? Oh, butter clenching ball cupping. There you go. Something like that. I'm sure that's a biological. Yeah, it comes quite a way up. It comes right the it's way like up. It's a me but... metaphorical cod piece. Yeah, there you go. So when I jumped on it, I thought rather than get comfortable, I'm going to see if I can, however you get on, that's how mm. I'm going to ride the bike. And I found myself riding towards the back of here, the seat, which meant I was very comfortable at the front. The legs were able to grip the tank. Very, very nice. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I can't remember how much, how heavy it weighs. I can't remember what size. It was 284 it. kilos, this one. See, I'm not sure about that. We have to get that right. So the card will be up with all the correct figures on it because that's telling me that that's heavier than my GSA. And I don't think I it know. Is. I was quite surprised because in comparison, the Transalp's 204 So let's kilos. say we're not sure about the weight. Yeah. And for all those haters, we'll put the right information up there. And if it says it's 12 million um, horsepowers, obviously there's a typo. <laughs> <laughs> Big fingers and a small keyboard. Yeah. So, I think it's around about 90 horsepower, which is about the same as the um, Transalp. But it is heavier, so it's a, it takes a little it bit is heavier. longer to get there, doesn't it? Right, so bench seat, really, really nice. Not sure. Are you, are you going to measure it, are you? I am, yeah. So, okay. that's, we'll say that's about 10 inches wide. Look, been spray painting. Um, not sure I want to be a pillion on the back of this. There's a bit of gap there. You could have made the seat a bit bigger, perhaps a bit wider. I don't really think it's for a pillion. I'm sure you can carry None a of these bikes are. No, no, obviously not. And you would insure your bike accordingly. So, lovely yeah, big Suzuki well. exhaust. They do the same exhaust or the same shape, same shapes of exhaust on, on many bikes. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. I like the fact that it's, it's a matte black. Yeah. As opposed to a silver or a chrome or something like that where you've got a constantly clean it yeah we're not not into cleaning bikes it's really oh, quite special that i quite like it you don't but see it, many black no 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 but pipes. it sounds phenomenal when you wind the bike up oh oh sir oh. <laughs> do you know i was riding along on another bike review i was going oh smooth i said it sounds like i'm on the fast show it's just like you <laughs> oh, sir, suits you so really really nice um there's lots of different packages you can get with it, but the engine is absolutely gorgeous. It throbs along, I mean, it's a two cylinder, so it's bound to throb a little yeah. bit, but I just really, really liked it. Again, it reminded me of my 850. Stupid grin when I got off it. 21 inch wheel, everyone goes, oh, 21 inch wheels, aren't gonna do anything. This is really good on the road. Now, whether it's just the tires, mm -hmm. which I think probably has a lot to do with it, but when you wind it up, it just wants to keep going. I mean, we got up to 70 miles an hour on, on the dual carriage where we were riding on previously. And it's like, come on then, come on then, come on then. It's just phenomenal in every single gear it wants to go. And we were doing, I was doing 60 in fourth gear. As soon as you wind the throttle off, instant engine braking, power on around the corners, 
Unbelievable. I really liked it. Screen, non-adjustable. <laughs> like big bracket here for your GPS. What was it on. like when you were riding then? Was it was it good in terms of airflow? I'm getting to that. Oh, sorry. I mentioned while I was riding it that the screen is quite a vertical screen. Hmm. And even though I had it on 510, I had a peaked helmet on, there was no wind buffeting at all. I mean, people complain about buffeting, they have to put, you know, things on the top and all that. And I'm just thinking, I'm an average I've got like, one of those things on top of mine. Yeah, I know, weird. <laughs> and I'm thinking, that does everything for me. There's no wind coming in, into my, directly into my face per se. You know, it's just, there's no buffeting on the helmet. I was doing 70 miles an hour and it's fine. It's good, isn't it? In, I, I think sometimes we overlook small screens have been designed to do what you're saying that they do exactly but in our heads we think small screens equals not a lot of protection and people go oh i must put a bigger screen on and then when you go abroad and it's warm they're like oh i should not got a bigger screen yeah. on because it's too warm in here now the only place i felt wind on on the body was on my outside edges of my shoulders well that's okay isn't it? and i was happy with that yeah so talk about these mirrors they got do look rather big from here Suzuki always do amazing mirrors and these don't let you down. Mm. However, this big cut off here, imagine that that is your blind spot. I don't know whether I can do it. Yeah, yeah, you've got a massive. This is where your blind spot is. Yeah. Why, why would you cut that bit off? Why would you not make it? All right, it's a sexy shape, but why yeah. don't you think practical? It might be something to do with airflow coming up off because it all it all works together, doesn't it? All okay. the air, it could be, but I, I, I'm with you. You need to see what's behind. Well, and... There's my palm, my hand over the mirror. That's how big the mirror is. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it is. Were they any good? Yeah. I got to, when I adjusted them, the only problem was when I was riding it at one point, and you'll see it, it spun round at me because <laughs> these bikes are just out of the showroom um, and they hadn't many miles on them when we picked them up, but they've got a few more on them now. Switch gear, basic or what? <laughs> Cut off switch. Not a bad thing. No, no. Uh, hazard lights, yeah, and on the oh, other side, oh, it's a slider, yeah, Ooh. oh, it's a slider, oi, oi. On the other side, you've got your ha your flash main beam, mode switch with your toggly thing. Everyone has to have those now. Indicators above the horn, unlike the Honda, I like that, yeah, which is fine. You know, you press that by accident, but your thumb's in the right place for the course indicators. It is. I find that on the Hondas, you've, you've really got to route. think about it. It's only a getting used to it again. Yeah. It's a key oh. thing. How ordinary. Yeah, but it's quite a nice key, that. I quite like that. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, quite a nice, nice key. I do like it, because when you're riding, if the bike is starting and you're running, you've got your keys, haven't you? Yeah, Simple you go. That. Yep. Now, we're going to switch it on. Watch this. Oh, it even plays with sound, Suzuki. Oh, nice. I like that. Isn't that a nice screen? I like the dark black well, We screen. said previously that they seem to have gone away from these white screens now. They've gone to these uh, black screens. Previously, I've got rid of a car because it had a white, yeah. white dials. I don't like them at all. They, in, at night, they're too white, too bright. But this has got everything. Speedo, speedo there, what gear you're in. The rev counter. So the revs on this is uh, nine and a half thousand, the red line. Mm -hmm. So it's operating areas between, you know, three and a half to five and a half. Thousand at or from not till 12. <laughs> not till 12, yeah, yeah. Whatever time, there's a clock. Um, odometer, trip hot, trip meter, tells you how many voltage it's pulling, the temperature of the engine, and the air temperature. Now there's a mode switch here. I'm going to pr play with this because God knows what it's going to do. Dun, dun, dun. So, oh, look at that. TC is obviously traction control, and I'm sure by using the. Oh, look, you turn it off so you can have it on. You can have it on G, whichever that is. Gravel, I would imagine. Yeah. Off, or you can set it up to be... At a different rate. At a different. Now, the next one is SDMS. Now, I'm thinking that might be something to do with suspension. So, automatic. Oh, I don't know, ABC. I'm guessing there, so you'd have to do your research on that. We've only yeah. just been given the bike, so again. And none of them come with any... Um, no, it's really hard. Any manuals or they come with manuals but none of them come with any brochures anymore and like i said we, these are all dealers demonstrator bikes it's not as if we get it for a week and we can sit down no. and do some research no. on it there's perhaps, the bike go in the, the future suzuki honda bmw give us a bike for a few weeks and we'll absolutely be able to learn about them. now abs 52 miles to the gallon 
electric two. 52.4 miles to the gallon, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, 103 miles to the tank. So we've uh, drained the tank a little bit, as they say. So I like this green, I like mm. it, really nice. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. What about the lights? Because they look lights. Kind, of, kind of special here. Well, you know, they remind me a bit of a Tenere type thing. You've got your daylight running light here, you've got another light here, and then this is your main beam. I like that, I do like that. Quite nice. Because it's very, it's strange, isn't it? You know, with LEDs, the LED lights can now be smaller, but emit more light, so yep. there's more surround around them, if that makes yep. sense. And? <laughs> I was just gonna say, yeah, go on. They're not on all the time. That's really good, isn't it? Other manufacturers do put them on, and yeah. I don't know why. So I don't, I think they're dangerous. Now, upside down forks, and they've got these covers on them. Nice. Which are good. Nice substantial covers them as well, actually. Yeah. Good um, uh, fender, is that what they call yeah. it? Yeah. Mud guard. Yeah. Nice big brakes on them as well. And these monsters. Now they work really well. Do they? Really well. I was like, I was a little bit surprised. When I started riding it, I was thinking, oh my God, because the throttle and the clutch, because they're pretty new bikes, haven't been serviced, you know, are very, very aggressive. It's fly-by-wire, it's not fly-by-wire, so it's cable, so it's like, took a bit getting used to. But one thing I will say, this bike needs to be revved hard. What, to, to, to get it spinning up and to get it going? It's a two, two, uh, two cylinder bike. So you can't like on a you know, four cylinder or a, you know, like our, for example, our BMW is a two, a two cylinder, but yeah. they're really torquey. Yeah. You know, sort of, you don't have to do much of that. To get this up to speed, you gotta, you gotta rag it a bit. But that's the fun. Yeah. Because this really wants to be ragged. It's just gorgeous. Now, the bikes we've reviewed recently, they've got this, the 750 Transalp and this. This is the more off-road capable bike. Yeah, and they're kind, of, they're kind of pitched against each, each other, really, yeah. in terms of price, power, that I think sort the price is very, very similar. I think it's yeah. 10,500. Can't remember what Something it was. Something like that. We'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, but um, apparently, having speak, spoken to the dealers and a few other people, the V-Strom is the bike for off-road, which is bizarre. Yeah, it's, it's really strange because it. it's heavier. Yeah. And you think doing green laning and that sort of thing, you'd Well, we say it's heavier. Bike. We're not, we've got to confirm that. But, but it's definitely heavier. Okay. Definitely. All right, so what's not to like about it? There will be aftermarket stuff for luggage on it. I would probably not want to tour on this with a, a pillion. God, no. <laughs> no, no <I'm> joking. <laughs> yeah. But lovely, 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 lovely. I really like the shape of it, actually. Lovely bike. Because you know it's a Suzuki, you know it's a V-Strom, but it's something a little bit more special than just a V-Strom. You've got to really look at it, and it, all the angles and stuff look very futuristic, but the, somehow they've retained the, the connection to the older V-Stroms. Well, you know, they've got the DR800, the big, you know, it used yeah. to be the DR Big. Was the DL, same. wasn't it? DR oh. was the big. And they were the bike that everybody wanted because it was like the Parry Dakar bike, you know, yeah. and a phenomenal tank on it, phenomenal bike. And, you know, they've tried to get back to something like that yeah. on this. Also with their 1050, it's the same sort of thing. But um, they've done a good job. Nice, done nice. Done a good bike. job. This will sell well because it's a V Strum. Yeah. It's not a Wee Strum, which is a 650 or 660, whatever it is. It's in between the big 1050. And they're 600, 661, whatever But even that, you know, the whole V-Strom range, they're not as expensive as a GSA or an RT or an Africa Twin, that sort of stuff. But you're getting the same functionality as all of it. And, you know, it's not to say that if you haven't got so much money, then you'd get one of these. Lots of people go after these because these do so well, but they're really good price, aren't they? They're really good value for the money. There's no way of looking at it. If you're traveling around the world, you know, and you're on your BMW, 1250 HP with all its electronics and you break down. Yeah. You're not likely to have a, a chap turn up with a computer and go, just a minute, I'll plug it in. You're right. But if you're on one of these and you break down, you'll have your guy turn up in his four wheel drive Toyota Corolla with a crack screen. Yeah, a few spanners. A few spanners, I can sort that for you, mate. Yeah. It might not be how you, how you imagine it to be, but it'll be fixed. Yeah. And that is what sells these bikes. Yeah, so, awesome machine. Awesome bike. Love it, love it, love it. Change the colour though, because I don't like that. Anyway, yeah, but like it does video, come in other colours, Mark. Oh well, yeah, I know, but I'm not sure what. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, alarms, you know, alerts, all that kind of stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.
バイ。